my team here backstage were kind enough to present me with this lounge. But it's going to be pretty lonely if I have to sit here by myself. So I have a three really, really nice guests here with me. The first one uh, from the mean streets of Yorkshire is none other than Kelsey Allison, Woo! Southern Bell, and YouTuber already there, Felix Resensea. The last but not least, and also greatest, Yaya Han. So, I'd like to pitch the first guest, the one I'm going to bring out first. She's the uncrowned queen of cosplay, one of the few heroes that have become truly household, mainstay on both television and the convention circuit. First of her name, none other than Jaya Han! Have a seat. You can take your instruments because you're first. <laughs> okay, Jaya, so as we're starting now, I want you to forget all of these people and instead imagine that we met, you were out walking with your glorious pets, and we met in a Pokemon battle. It's about. <laughs> No, it amuses me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like hard to beat to me. So, you were out walking with your Pikachu, your Charmander that you couldn't get control of, your, your Bulbasaur. We met. You challenged me to a Pokemon battle. How would you introduce yourself? How, how would I introduce myself? Yeah. What would be your battle cry? <laughs> <laughs> it's 11.30 at night. Okay. Um, my battle cry would be... It's on, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's why this is late night. Yeah, sorry. So have you enjoyed your stay here? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this convention is super unique, and I love that there are so many Pokestops on the way. <laughs> <laughs> and no, it's been fantastic. The cosplay here is amazing. Everybody is really talented and very dedicated. Yeah. So I appreciate that. So in, in what ways would you say it's unique? Like compared to, I guess you're mostly at the, the American conventions. What, what's the biggest difference? Definitely the fact that it's mostly outdoors and it reminds me of a festival more than a convention. So just the, the environment, the venue, and also that you can do this in the summer. Like you could not do this almost anywhere in America in the summer. It would be, the weather would just not cooperate. And um, I also think the, I see most everybody here is in costume, which I think is really cool. I think the ratio of people in costume at Nercon is so much higher than many other events that I've been to. So, and I think that's awesome. Actually, we're not supposed to call it a convention, we're supposed to call it a festival. <laughs> so it's, it's really funny you should say that, because it's, yeah. like, it's been going around. Um, as you've landed in Sweden, uh, is it your first time here? It's not, right? It's not, but I, this is possibly the longest I've ever been in Sweden. Um, I've been to Dreamhack twice, but only for like two days each. And uh, then I went to GameX in Stockholm, the Stockholm Comic Con. But um, we only have one day to really see the city. So this, this has been really awesome. What's your favorite part? I really, I just really love seeing the costumes. Just uh, seeing everybody, uh, you know, cosplaying from a lot of different genres. Um, not just, like, really there, there seems to be trends, but there really is uh, a lot of variety. Uh, so that shows me that the people here enjoy all kinds of different video games and anime and such. So. Um, it's really neat to see sort of all of these different characters interacting with each other. And, uh, and of course, I think, you know, being able to, to play Pokemon Go with everybody and it doesn't really matter where we're from and, you know, just all kind of enjoying this, you know, this nice weather. It's been awesome. I know 
if I see someone cosplaying Gurren Lagann, my heart goes doki doki. <laughs> is there um, is there some some hidden gem of a show that you, uh, if you see someone cosplaying that show, you, you go back to your uh, I don't know 15 year old roots and. Uh... Absolutely. Um, for me, it's always been Lotus War, record of Lotus War. Anytime I see anybody cosplaying. Deedlid or Pyrotess or any of the other characters, I'm just like, oh! <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I have to shake it. So, I figured it's better if we can start a conversation. So I get out the second guest as soon as possible. She's a YouTuber and music producer extraordinaire. A, um... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Pump up the radio and turn up the volume for Kelsey Allison because I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> hey, you can pick your shoes. Now Phyllis is going to get the, the best chair because you guys are, I don't know, okay, afraid. Okay. The, the, the American way in a talk show is you, you keep moving down. Oh. So we're going to keep moving down. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, Yeah. <laughs> Wait, She's moving. Okay. Ah, we'll be moving. Not right but, now. Uh, not, not right now. We're, I've already moved. Yeah. See? <laughs> so I figured we'd do the same thing. Now you're out with your Pikachu and your Charmander and your, your Pokeballs right there. You can yeah. Do if you like. Oh. It actually does the R2D2 sound. Yeah, okay. I mean, uh, R2D2. The new, what's the new one called, you know? The, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, and then we, we meet on the road, I get this exclamation point over my head, I walk to, up to you and I say, let's do a Pokemon battle. What, what's your battle cry? My battle cry? Um, hello you, I hope you're good. <laughs> that's, my, that's my catchphrase on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm not like very like vicious or something, I'm just like very friendly, but secretly inside I like, yeah. <laughs> I have to bring your Pokemon. <laughs> so, um, is this your first time in Nairgo? Yes, it is. Um, and it's amazing. I haven't been to anywhere like this in my life. Um, I came to Sweden a couple of years ago to Confusion, which is in Gothenburg. I don't know if I am saying that correctly, I'm sorry. Oh, but really Sweden, good. Sweden and Swedish people and Swedish conventions are just so beautiful. I love it. They were pretty outdoorsy here. Yeah, that's what I like, because obviously I'm from England, so we couldn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, just not... two, two days a year. Yeah, two days a year, because that's our summer, that's it. <laughs> so, um, do you cosplay? At all? Yeah, I cosplay a little bit. I'm like a beginner cosplay though. It's like not very good. What did you do? Um, I've done Miraculous Ladybug. Um, <laughs> yay! I've done her and Volpina, and I've done Rare from Star Wars because that's pretty easy. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's about it. Um, have you guys met before? No. No. Uh, I'm trying to... It's a pleasure. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I have all these questions written down and they're just going blank in my head. Um, what's the best costume you've seen so far? Because the cosplay is always like easy going back. Oh, okay. That's, that's like a hard one. Um, wow. Well, I'm only going to say this because I'm biased because like, I'm just a fan girl at the moment, but I saw a lady Wi-Fi walking around earlier on, which is from Miraculous Ladybug, and like it was so well made and I, I'm so jealous because I can't make anything like that. But, yeah. That's the one I've seen. I was I, I just found it all over it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> but all the cosplays here are incredible. So uh, many good cosplays. So many cosplays. <laughs> you have um have you been to a lot of conventions? Yeah, well, I've been to almost everyone in the UK, um, but not really abroad anywhere. What's your best convention story? You have this crazy <laughs> has anything really crazy happened? from myself falling off stage and stuff, not really. <laughs> um, I've been, it's pretty tame in the UK, I think. Pretty tame conventions. Yeah. Do you have any con crazy convention stories? Anything you can share? I don't think I'm allowed to share. <laughs> I think that would just cause another online scandal or something <laughs> if I shared. I'm like, oh, 
but no, no. Ever play like I don't know paintball at four in the morning for some reason, or uh, did you do something really weird at the convention? I know I've done some pretty crazy stuff in there. Yeah, well, I definitely have done some crazy things at conventions. Um, most of them relating to cosplay of some sort, either crazy stories of finishing a costume, um, you know, without sleep for, you know, a whole week, or uh, getting ready in the room after, you know, not sleeping for however many days, or things happening in costume, uh, but for the most part, I think you just, I, I try to, I try to sort of block out any negative experiences and really remember the good experiences. Sounds pretty healthy. Yeah, and then, yeah, and first of all, yeah, and I, I really don't like, you know, it's like a lot of people well, in interviews will ask me, do you have any creeper stories or something, and I'm like, I don't really want to see anyone as a creeper because everybody has their own story yeah. and you know I think that's very disrespectful to be like oh let me just like you know make fun of this person in order to tell a good story and make people laugh or something I'm not that funny <laughs> so I'm gonna shake if our first guest is here because I don't know it oh there he is Perfect. so I don't know if you guys have ever seen a really bad movie, one that made you like rip your hair, try, take your clothes off, I don't know. Then you turn the DVD around and you, you balked in shame because the, D, the movie was from your own country. Well, this guy, this guy right here, he made that, that thing his job. So I'm proud to present my friend and YouTuber, Supreme, Felix Nord. <laughs> Want to try the Pokeball? Okay. Yeah, yeah, if you press it, it makes a sound. I, I think I pressed from the phone. Can I press the button? Yeah. The button. There's sound. I think this is you, just you have a to mystery. wait, though, I think. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Very long sound. Like <laughs> yeah. So. I don't know if this question is funny, because, but I did it with the other two guys, I'm going to do it with you as well. You're out, walking with your Pokeballs, your Pikachu, your Charmander, and you meet me on the road. Once again, I get this exclamation point, I run up to you and I run a battle. What's your battle cry? What's your response? Did you get it? Well, that's a very hard question, I guess. Um... Fun side? <laughs> Fun side? No, I don't, I don't think that. Um... No, this is... <laughs> I can't come up with anything, actually. Can, it's... can I change my battle cry? Yeah, sure. I will take what's mine with fire and blood! Yes! <laughs> yes. That's, That's a very good one. Can't really top that one, I guess. It should just all be Game of Thrones. Yeah, we can say that. Mine winter is coming. Mine winter is coming. Mine winter is coming. Mine winter is coming. They're really, like, you polite. Nice to meet you. Like, you just say that, you know. Doesn't need to be mean, I guess. What does that mean ever die? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, I know this is your second time in Aircon. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, how are they different so far? Uh, it's a little bit bigger this year. Uh, but, yeah, it's uh, it's the same Nercon, I guess. <laughs> I guess I gotta have to. So, you're all different producers of media. Um, I know YouTube do YouTube, but um, you're into music, he's into film, in a way, I guess. Yeah, bad, bad movies, <laughs> that's what I like. Or I, I don't bad really like the them. Best but... <laughs> you're, you're standing on the screen a lot of time. I, would say. Mm -hmm. I guess you all are, but. Um, have you ever, like, have you, I know you, you do music, but have you done, um, have you ever, like, reviewed a mu movie? Have you ever reviewed a movie? I have never reviewed a movie in public. I've reviewed a lot of movies privately, streaming yes. at my <laughs> television, probably, or my computer, and being like, what the hell? <laughs> a lot of that, those are my reviews. Uh, I mean, I do, I love movies, I do. I'm, I'm definitely a big movie buff, and I am 
kind of picky these days with my entertainment. I feel like I'm just like, I want more female representation, more diversity. I'm definitely, sadly, one of those. Where I'm like, I just want to, yeah, like, um, I've already reviewed the new Matt Damon movie, The Great Wall. I'm like, really, another Caucasian male lead in a movie, you know, set in Asia. So, mm, probably uh, zero or maybe one star, depending on how good the effects are. <laughs> there, there you go. First review about the Grey Wall. You really give a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I give every movie a 10 out of 10. It used to be nice, you know, I've said so many neat, uh, like, uh, mean things before, and then it's nice to wrap it up with a 10 out of 10. <laughs> really let nice people know how good it is. Yeah, it's like a pat on the back. <laughs> there, there. So, um, how's your experience been here so far? Yeah, well, it's been nice. I mean, I've met a lot of people that, you know, know me from the YouTube channel and, uh, and that talk to me and, like, uh, said what they like about my channel and, yeah, it's, it's nice. <laughs> Did you ever go to, a, like, a convention or a festival out of Sweden? Uh, no, I haven't really, because we, we're really just known in, in Sweden. We, we don't have any fans outside of Sweden, so it uh, <laughs> wouldn't make sense to go anywhere else, I guess. <laughs> Shit, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nice swear, too. Really great. I love the people in Sweden just like swear like so casually. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's kind of. Like, I've been to the States a few times, it's kind of a culture shock because if you go there and you say, I don't know, every swear in, in English, people look at you like they're gonna throw you out of the store. Yeah. You, know, like, you have to change the words, you have to say like. Fudgesicle. <laughs> but But why though? Like, what, what does it change? No, it's, can't handle it. I'm from, I, I was raised in Europe, and trust me, in America, I'm just like, oh my god, you people. <laughs> what what word has been the hardest, like, letting go of when you're in the States? Uh, I really, I just think there's just not, I don't they, they're not very worldly, I feel like. <laughs> like, they just don't know that there is a big world out there where a lot of people of different cultures and origins can interact with each other and speak different languages and still get along. And uh, I think that's, that's sometimes difficult for me. In America, they just, they're just like, America, really, it's really like America. So, it's like not even a meme. <laughs> <laughs> the best memes are real though, right? But America is pretty, like, compared to most other places, they have everything. If you go to a, you want to ski, you can do that. You want to go to the beach, you can do that. There's never a reason to travel outside of America here in Sweden. If we want to do anything but be cold or bathe in water that's 15 degrees, we have to go somewhere else. Yeah, but America is bigger, so there's, like, a, uh, more variation, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It's just cold here. Do you prefer the Swedish weather? Uh... I don't know. I haven't really been uh, to a lot of other countries, so I can't really like uh, compare, I guess. But I, I like it here. I mean, I don't oh. have any other choice. <laughs> <laughs> kind of rooted in Can't afford to live anywhere else. So, <laughs> so I, I feel, do you have any questions for each other? Like, um, now that you're in this crowd of the chat. Why don't we interview you? <laughs> how has your weekend been? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, how has your weekend? It's been really stressful, as you can probably tell by my lack of preparation. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, for, the, for four days I've had this like, I'm gonna sit down for three hours and I'm gonna work on this talk show, but <laughs> then those three hours just never happened. <laughs> so uh, right now we're kind of working off the top of my head. And, uh, but the, the, the cosplay monster, it's the best show. My, my people were amazing. It looked fantastic. I'm so happy. Uh, so that's been great. And, uh, did you see catch it, Enemy? No, I think that's definitely something I'm, I've, I'm very kind of, I'm really missing out on Nericon is I wish I could partake in more events, but there's just not that much time in the day and uh, you guys have a lot of events and I think to properly participate in some of the cosplay events it takes a lot of time commitment and so I am not able to give all the time commitments that I can this weekend and uh, so I'm a little bit sad, I'm definitely sad that I missed the cosplay yeah. master show. 
You can even catch the Twitch, uh, well, no. we actually yeah. streamed it. Like, it, we've been trying to get cosplay out on the, the air, airwaves through, through Twitch. I'm hoping, it, I, I know there was quite a lot of viewers tonight, so I'm hoping it'll catch on, but, because it'll be great if, if like, cosplay conventions in the, in the States, for example, could start streaming. I, I, I don't yeah, know if definitely. Comic Con doesn't do much of that. No, it's a, usually like internet connection issues. But yeah, absolutely. I'm so glad you guys are doing it, and you know, hopefully, you will inspire more events. <laughs> well, I, um, I was just gonna ask, how did you get so tall? <laughs> Peanuts, I would say, I eat more peanuts than any other food. And I'm not lying here, like peanuts are, depending on the week, 20 to 50% of my calories. I love peanuts, just yeah, as much, but I am not as tall as you, so what happened? You gotta go to the gym more. Push those weights. What, were we pushing weights at age five or something? My dad probably was too. I was like, you got kind of fat as a kid. I'm still fat, but at least I do some muscle muscles. Better. You have a question? Yeah, I, like I don't know how this turned into this, but I'm pretty yeah. like, I, I know you outside of this, so I, like, I, I know a lot of stuff about you, so I don't really need to ask you, I guess. <laughs> but then you can pick out some fun facts. That's right? true. Like some fun pick out facts. something really, really out there. <laughs> hmm. I, I know. Um, I know his girlfriend really well. We actually studied film together um, a year ago. Yeah. So that's our. <laughs> that, that's a fact, I guess. <laughs> that can pass as a fact, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Doing very well. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> Feeling. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I'm gonna crack some more. Right now. <laughs> Take the drink of shame right <laughs> So, yeah, I've got mine. <laughs> oh gosh. Do you guys want to help him? Anybody have a question? Yeah, anyone, anyone have a yeah. question? We can probably hear you from here, right? Oh. Raise your hands. You can ask all three. Anyone? Or we're going to start talking oh, to you guys. Yeah, yeah, you said that there is a plan of time. The dates, you have to what do you do all day at the convention? What do I do all day at a convention? Um, well, it is sort of always that delicate balance between, you know, if I want to participate in a cosplay event, it usually is judging. And judging means a lot of time hidden away from the public, you know, to, to examine the costumes and such. And um, I am always torn between wanting to do judging and meeting the cosplayers and being available to the public because um, whenever I, like, cause, cause the other part is to be able to speak to people, to take photos with people and, you know, really, uh, cause that's part of the reason why the convention wants us to be out here is to add to the entertainment factor of the event. So, so today I spent most of the day at my stand in Key House but yesterday I spent a good portion of my day judging, so I wasn't really at my stand. And so of course yesterday people were disappointed that they couldn't meet me, but then today a lot of cosplayers were probably pretty disappointed that I wasn't part of the judging. So it's kind of like, I really need like a time turner or something so I can do both. <laughs> and a lot of uh, energy drinks. <laughs> I think that's a great question. So I actually want to ask, how, how did your this day for you look like? My day? Yeah. My day today, um, okay, so I had breakfast and a wasp attacked me. Um, <laughs> that's how it started. And then <laughs> I came here and I rehearsed for my show, which was the other food, uh, the station of the food. And um, then I did that. Then we went to get pizza. I walked around a little bit. I saw all the shops and things and said hello to people. And I got lost in that hall with all the shops. It's like, it's like a maze. I could not find myself out. I couldn't get out. But yeah, I found myself out. And then, um, yeah, then we went to go get pizza. And 
Um, we've got some, we went out to get pizza because the queue was really long, so we decided to go out. And because it was closing time, the pizza they gave a full bag of garlic bread, like a huge bag of free garlic bread. And I think that's the best decision I have ever made at a convention. So, yeah, and now I'm here. But yeah, I really loved walking around and seeing things, and I just love how it's outside. Does he like chilling outside? <laughs> That's the crazy convention story I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, mine uh, has been you know, not that exciting, I guess. I can't <laughs> tell uh, any exciting stories, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> uh, well, I, I woke up and uh, you know, walked to the convention, and we had a meet and greet uh, in the key house uh, over there. And uh, like we met a lot of nice people who like talked to us and you know, took pictures with us and stuff like that, like our YouTube channel. And um, then, like right before this, I had to run from uh, from that to here a uh, panel with some other YouTubers uh, that are so famous in Sweden, yeah. uh, and we like talked about YouTube stuff. But mostly, we just screwed around, you know. We just like, uh, yeah. Oh, you always do. Yeah, and we accidentally created a new, a new meme. Also, I, I think. I don't know. Oh, really? But uh, me and another YouTuber, uh, Valto uh, Tiskevitz. Uh, from Dundelhumo, um, um, we like people in the audience like shipped us, and, and, they, and they made like like uh, little pictures of us kissing, and then they had like in uh, overhead like you know you can uh, put a picture on uh, yeah a, a whiteboard or, or whatever, and they like put all the f fan art pictures on that uh, on that overhead and like uh, yeah. It was, uh, it was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it was really weird for us too to see each other kissing. On the <laughs> if anyone can find me one of those pictures, I would pay top dollar for that. <laughs> so yeah, have we got more questions? You guys raise your hand. How about um, over here? <laughs> Should we try to get a mic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who I would cosplay? Uh, I don't know. It's uh, um, it's really hard to, to answer. There's uh, there's a lot of characters I, I like, but I guess like uh, Wabu, if you know that character. <laughs> yeah. It's like a, uh, a raccoon from a terrible, uh, like, animated movie uh, that I have reviewed. And he's, he's pretty cute, I guess. And I, I could see myself in a raccoon suit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Wabu, I guess. <laughs> if you guys were to pick a cosplay for Felix, what would you pick? Okay. Well, I think the fact that your name is Felix, I would say you need to do Fix It Felix. <laughs> yes! Wreck It Ralph. Uh, you also remind me of the the guy from Atlantis. Ooh! Oh, another Disney movie. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Milo. Did you do that? Milo? Yeah. Milo. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. I love that movie so much. Like, <laughs> as a kid, I was... I, it's the only... I know everyone has that, like, stars in their eyes Disney moment. For me, the only Disney film that was like that was Atlantis. I know it's really weird to say that, but I don't I, know. I only recently saw that film. Did you like it? Yeah, I loved it. It's really like completely different to most other Disney films. Yeah. Right? With um, the weird iconography and stuff. Yeah, I know we had another question over here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Felix. <laughs> <laughs> what will you next think of picture movie? The, the next Dingo Pictures movie I will review. Uh, we haven't really decided yet, uh, but we, we have more of them. There are tons of terrible Dingo Pictures movies. Um, I, I can't really say we haven't decided, but uh, there will be more. <laughs> so. Yeah. Anyone has ever been happy about the Dingo Pictures film? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know if it's late enough yet, and uh, sadly, this is not alcohol. So. <laughs> but um, I have been 
told that it sucks and I don't know as much Swedish yeah. as, as uh, you know, I don't know that much Swedish, so I was wondering if you guys could teach me, I don't know, like a Swedish phrase or Swedish curse word or something. So yeah. I want to learn too. So what's, the, what's the best one? We have to pick a really good one. Something creative and cool and maybe not too. Yeah. Well, that's not a swear word. Commencing all of the screaming cursing at the stage, please. <laughs> So, so what they're screaming right now is the word for a uh, coffee break, essentially. <laughs> Which, I don't know, it's, it's not so much a swear word as a Swedish institution, I guess. Yeah. I mean, one of you guys will have to, will have to, like... Hey, pop, pop. Just... <laughs> What you do in Swedish is you say, Helvete is jävla skit, and stuff like that. You, like, you kind of chain swear words together. Yeah. Like, it's as like, more effective that way. Yeah, yes. <laughs> you, you get this like combo of swear words. It's, yeah. it's the way we do it mostly. Is that what we're learning? How, yeah, so, how does that go again? Okay, so head with the Siana Quit. We're gonna have to break it down. <laughs> it's, it's essentially hells. Hells. So Helvetes, Hells, what? Jabla means devils, uh, and then shit. Jablish. So you're saying like, Hells, like devils, shit. Hells, devils, shit. I like that in English too, Hells, devils, shit. <laughs> and then you can say, Sju helvetes, jävla skit. And then it's like, Seven Hells, devils, shit. <laughs> seven, like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, break it down. So, he you have to teach us. So. Helvetes. 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 <laughs> and then Jabla. 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 DJ. Is it Jabla? Jabla. Yeah, that's, Jabla. that's that's you got it. And that's devils, like the adjective, the devils footstool, the devils table, the devils the lack um, And then the final word is quit. 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 <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> I hear you do really well. Okay, so I forgot it already. I forgot yeah, it. One more time. Helvetes, Jabla, Hui. Now no, you go. Yes, yes, you do. Helvetes, Jabla, Hui. Swear words, but um... we won't know. Will we? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Da pigu wang ba dan. Yeah, that would probably be easy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so break it down. Da pigu. Da pigu. Da pigu. Da pigu. Da pigu. Wang ba dan. Da ba dan. Wang ba dan. Wang ba dan. Means <laughs> you're a big butted asshole. That's a pretty good one. Who said that perfectly over there? <laughs> Can you scream it? The one who, who was fixed perfect? Okay, so should we do it like all of Me? all of them at once? Like Helvet is Yala Fit Da Pigo Dumba Dan. Okay. I know I'm like Helvet is not alcohol. Get your water ready, get your Helvet is Helvet is Yabla Sweet Da Pigo Wambada. 
So, if someone asked me what I would be doing tonight, I, I, I wouldn't have answered this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm definitely gonna have to remember that and break it out. Yeah, yeah. you can use it in the States too. Yes, that's exactly. I'm like, I came back from Sweden, I learned Swedish. <laughs> so, I, I have this. I, I used to live in Brazil for a while, and my. The way I got there was a friend visited, visited me, uh, and he taught me Fili da Puta, which is like the, I don't know, the, the quintessential... The, the, the quintessential Portuguese swear word. It essentially means son of a bitch, but like ten times worse. I went back over there, and I, I screamed it at some kid, and he was like, You're gonna get shot if you do that! <laughs> I swear, like, we, we could see the people, like, grab it for it. Was, so, um, different cultures with swear words, I guess. But, um, Fili da Puta, you can use it in Sweden. Almost no one knows it, I think. Uh, good tip. Yeah. <laughs> um, any more questions in the audience? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go. Uh, can I ask it in Swedish? Yeah. It's me, Felix. What do you think Valto, alltså, <laughs> alltså, vi har uppenbarligen blivit chippade, så alltså, jag älskar ju Valto av hela mitt hjärta, liksom. Ja. Jag måste ju liksom såhär, feed the fire, känner jag. If you get shipped with someone, you have to embrace yeah, it. Yeah, you have to embrace it, yeah. yeah. You're gonna get married now, right? Yeah, we, we're already <laughs> married, yeah. And on the way here, we're married, so... Yeah. Because uh, Queen See, actually called me before the show and was like, have you seen Phil? <laughs> yeah, I've been gone all day. That's the reason, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, it was very fun, yeah. Really small, yeah. small yeah. fun. Any more questions? Yeah, well, please do. It's pretty good. <laughs> uh, it's the best talk show I've been in. <laughs> it's the only one, also. But, I mean, let's just put that aside. I had suspicion. You had, yeah, okay. Uh. <laughs> yeah. This is not the worst talk show I've been in. <laughs> really, though, actually, I've been oh. a really horrible talk show. That's why, like, I, I don't have any creepy, crazy convention stories yeah. that I want to share, but I was once on this Italian talk show. Seriously, I was in Italy, and I was asked to go on a talk show, but they wanted me to dress up as Lum from Urase Yatsura, mm -hmm. which is the Lum, which is like the tiger stripe bikini with the green hair and the little horns. Oh my gosh, you guys are all so young. <laughs> <laughs> so cute! Anyway, I know what you mean. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So basically, it's a fur bikini, and uh, because it's an iconic character in Italy, they wanted me to dress up as Lum, so I had to go into the studio in front of an audience and all these cameras, and they had like a mic hooked on me, but then the pack was like hooked into my bra, which is one of those like strapless bras. So the whole time I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this, the pack is gonna, first of all, like, you know, uh, slide down my back and expose myself or and then they kept asking really crazy questions because that was in 2008 before cosplay really was very well known and before cosplay was really respected by the general media so a lot of the questions ended up being very racist like they would play a game where they would like show uh, a authentic version of Italian car and then below a Photoshop version of like a knockoff Chinese version of the car or like you know an Italian bag like designer bag and then a knockoff Chinese bag and then by the end of the game like they wanted me to guess which one was the the real you know the real product and which one was the you know the knockoff and by the end of it I was like I think they're making fun of me for being Asian. And they put me, they somehow convinced me to go into a studio in a bikini and uh, be recorded, you know, being made fun of. And so that was definitely the worst talk show experience. So, so this is much more fun. <laughs> Sorry, the story turned kind Did of they serious. Did you Italian swear words? No? no, of course not. <laughs> no, they were just. Hmm. Oh yeah, here we go. 
thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I was just wondering, how old were you when you did that talk show? I was definitely young enough to agree to it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And um, I don't know. It was. It was. You know what? It's. It's an experience, though. It's like something that you can learn from afterwards. And it's really cool to see, by the way, how the media's uh, views on geek culture and cosplay and fandom in general has changed. So now really there are a lot of uh, programs and TV stations that are supporting um, what we do and how we love to enjoy ourselves, you know, including KS. The, the, the TV station that is recording the NCC Yeah, tomorrow, so the right? SPD, it's actually the, um, the government's TV station. Like, it's paid by taxpayer money, so it's really cool. That see. is amazing. Yeah, so the Swedish television channel is covering Yeah, they're sending live cosplay. I think see? it's... It might be, like... Now we've done it a few times, but it's still, I think, unprecedented in the, in the entire world mm -hmm. for that to happen, at least from a government company. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's it never ceases being cool. The feeling never goes away, really. Uh, oh yeah. Let's yeah, yeah. Keep, keep did, did you try out the Swedish food yet? I had some Swedish candy, but I haven't had chance to have any of the, like I said, no alcohol and no like no fermented fish yet. <laughs> but uh, I have one more day, so I'm hoping that I will get to. So, Felix, you, you've been Swedish your entire life? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever Facts had... Facts, right there, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had fermented fish? Never. And I won't <laughs> ever taste it. <laughs> I've had it once. Yeah. And then I, I worked at a restaurant that was famous for the fermented fish. It was actually really good. It sounds really weird saying that. But, but it's the smell, I guess. Yeah, That's the, the, the worst part. And then it... Every day I had to open these packets, and you, the way the fish is stored, it gets this, this gelatinous coating that you have to rinse off with your hands. And the smell is so bad that you like, the first, i say the first quarter of the first hour, it feels like when you're really sick or uh, taking a lot of uh, like uh, medication for pain or something. You're not it was that this bad. To me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, never try that from the fish, even though it's good, like, because someone has to cook it for you. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're trying to, like, save the cooks from having to... Yeah, okay. that's what it felt like. I don't know, yeah. Do we have more questions? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I just like sat between two awesome people and like I don't feel like I should be here right now. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you both. So. You no, I, I checked you out when I saw the guests and stuff, so yeah. You're both really nice and like you're super cute. You know, like that we're kind of we're kind of matching yeah. a little bit with our yeah. caps. No. I was actually like thinking about I, I have a cap that I've been using. I was thinking about doing it from the, from the talk show as well, by shaking out at the last second. Yeah, I feel good that you didn't do it, because I feel like an outsider <laughs> without the camera. So, thank you for... <laughs> I'm definitely going to check out both their YouTube channels. You won't what understand what I'm saying, but <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you. I, I, the captions are <laughs> makes it even more funny. <laughs> That's right, yeah, the captions, right? Yeah, captions. Good. But we, we'll fix captions. Because I think the captions... Um, are probably what you're really saying, <laughs> but it's no, still no. funny. It's probably funnier than the things yeah, I say. Right. In the video, so. yeah. well, why don't you do movie reviews in English? Well, I I don't really feel comfortable doing it. I guess I, I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't really thought about it, so. Well, you should. I think. You think? Yeah, I think yeah, you should, and especially. Ah, thank you. <laughs> and your English is good. Like you shouldn't worry about whether you're like grammatically saying everything correct or something, and yeah, yeah. just. Be yourself, and that way more people can see your work and see how funny you are and stuff. So yeah, maybe. Thanks for the tip. You realize you've been asked uh, how to do this now. So you kind of have to. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like a contract that you didn't even have to sign. Okay, I'll, I'll do it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. <laughs> I'll try it. I try it. I try it once. We'll see. <laughs>
can't really say for sure. <laughs> Comedic timing is really hard in a language that is not your own, though. Like, yeah. I feel like I'm really good with English, but being funny in a language that's not your like your own language to me is really hard. I don't know if you felt the same way. Yeah, that's kind of what I feel is the the problem for me at least that I don't feel really comfortable speaking English, and I would probably not write as good. A, you see, I can't even speak now. So, I mean, I wouldn't write as good jokes. That was terrible grammar, by the way. <laughs> I know your jokes in Swedish. I'll be just like, English, English is all of a sudden Swedish, and I'm back to English. I could, like, go <laughs> the caption will, like, pop in. Yeah, yeah. I, I could go with, like, Google Translate. Like, <laughs> yes. Right, it's Swedish, and then it's Google Translate. That would be even better. Yeah. <laughs> I it think it's probably what the captions are like, what I read anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Might actually be a pretty good business idea if you could go do Google Translate, but for comedians. Like, so you could, because then you could be like, um, I don't know, uh, uh, like you. <laughs> you mean an accurate? Uh, yeah, like that. That the would get the, the, I don't know, the the core of the joke and, and translate it the right way. Yeah. If you could make that, that would be uh, really, really. You're essentially just saying like, make Google Translate better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really. Yeah, Google. This is put on you. Make Probably Google is watching, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Probably. They're always watching us. Yeah. Cameras everywhere. They're watching right here. I'm pretty sure. They're tracking our data by making us play Pokemon, Pokemon Go. Go. Yeah. Yeah. I heard that. So, mm. Checking our emails. I remember that my first question was actually what team are you on? Valor. Uh, Valor. Valor, yeah. So one minute to go all the way, baby. Oh, no, that's terrible. So that's the other quid for that, Russell. This is really hard. Actually. Is there not any instincts anywhere? So <laughs> So I think we're actually pretty close to the ending time. Do you have any last words for the audience? Anything? Before he kills? Or we... Yeah. <laughs> we're bring out, did you see the guy with the, the giant sword? I was thinking I would bring it out and just do one. Yeah, in one sweep. Yeah. Always. Really, really good points right there. Three valors in one. <laughs> last words. Any last words? Yeah. And any of you want to say anything else? Please don't kill me, I guess. That's my last word. <laughs> We're going to be here tomorrow, right? Yep. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Who's going to stay up all night? Uh, <laughs> hardcore. Not Eat, me. Sleep, Not me. And yeah. shower, do all the good things. No, no. I look forward to coming back tomorrow, really. And uh, I am doing another panel at 4 p.m., so come bring your questions and, you know. Uh, Ask me all the cosplay questions, please. That's what I'm here for. So please come see me at the Key House or uh, at my panel, or I'll see you guys at the at the championship. I will be watching it. I will not be judging it, sadly, but I will be there to to watch and experience the show and take the experience back to the states. It's, that'll be good. Um, yeah. This um, uh, <laughs> I saw, um, Nakon is like awesome. I just like to say you guys are lovely. So thank you so much. And I'm gonna do a cheeky promo as well. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna be performing again on the stage near the food. That's the best way to explain it. <laughs> um, and I do like really fun sets and really like. I saw ten seconds of the last one while walking by, and it was amazing. So go check it out. And I've also did a Q and A as well, but. I at half past eleven with Nanobi and where is it? See ya. See what? See one. See one. See one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's been awesome today. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do a shameless plug also. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It wasn't shameless, sorry. Shameless. <laughs> yeah, I was just really, really rude. You want a shameful plug? Yes. <laughs> no. Okay, here's a shameful plug. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's easier. Like... Yeah, okay, I'm really, really <laughs> ashamed of this plug. Uh, oh, yes, my thing's at seven, I forgot to say, but yeah, okay. Yeah, well, well... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I thought I can talk about Svenska for making it sound like... 
Uh, vi, ska, vi ska visa en ny recension imorgon. Uh, så det står på programmet med dig, jag kommer ta upp tiden. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, och efter det ska vi ha en Q&A. Så uh, ja, det kommer att bli nice, kanske. Finns det i appen? Yeah. Alla måste ladda ner appen. Det här var en plug för appen, appen egentligen. Tack för att Tack så mycket för att ni kom. Hoppas ni har haft roligt. Om en halvtimme är det Game Show. Kolla på den här också. If you like cosplay, be sure to check out the Q&A with Jaya Han to the left or check out Jaya Han's costume construction breakdown to the right. Also some new videos will soon be uploaded with Felix from Felix Recenserar. Those will be in Swedish though, but I hope the Swedes will appreciate them.